Hey, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Bull Cow. You already know what it is. Uncle Bull Cow, Johnny Scoville. We're here. We're in the building. What's going on? And you know what I want to talk about? So, you guys seen, some of you, a lot of us seen that I was I did a video with him and Tad on his channel, and guess what I did? I ate a whole pod without food. Here's the deal. He'll tell you he does. He's the, just as much of a savage every bit as I am. It's almost like Angus Young and Malcolm. I watched a video of Angus and Malcolm and, and Angus. They're talking about how Angus is the greatest of the guitarists of the ACDC. He said, my brother Malcolm can play anything I can. But either way, um, the reason why I'm saying that is I actually told you guys in other videos, I do eat whole pods, but it matters what they are. Oh, so good. This is a fatality. Nick, that's a hot one. Is it sweet? Is your sweet? Yeah. And yesterday, uh, so we did what? The KSLS on his channel. Well, no, two days ago. I picked it like eight hours earlier. It was so fresh. It tastes so good. But certain peppers are fatality once in a while. KSLS, carbonaras. I could sit there and eat a bush. Did you get that tall thing? This is the hottest yeah. one I've had this well, season. Yesterday. Well, I've only eaten three so far. Season. Wow. They burn on these things. Sometimes yep. it's like a 200,000. It's a sometimes. weird pepper. That's the bottom line. But here's you got to remember. They crossed that with a 7 bot Primo to make a Primatolic. Uh, right? Wow. I could tell when I felt it. The placenta had a big placenta in this one. Our stomach like was hot. You know, the, here's the thing. Yeah, peppers are going to trick you. It's in their genetic makeup. They like tricking you. They do. that. You'll have a pepper you think you can handle and it's going to pull a trick on you. Ooh, the I flavor was great, though. I like the flavor of that. I'm what, Bernard, Burger where, where you at? He was. So I'm I'll probably at... I'm a little bit more than I was off that KSL. I'm definitely more than that KSLS. So I'm probably at a four right now. Like, as far as the tongue burn goes. There's no throat burn. We're um, having fun today, man. The mouth burn. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. You guys got to tune in. There's going to be some live streams. I don't know if I'll be live streaming any, but the um, America's Belt match is today. And there's also the putt putt, the nine holes of hell. KSLS? Yeah. So what KSLS we did was grown by myself. And then um, the, I grew these fatalities, but this is actually the KSLS from Linda's Fiery Trees. Do you want to know something? I'm not knocking Linda at all. Attitude. This has more of the traditional look of the Kang Star Lemon Starburst. Right. Yours tastes way better. Yeah. Well, yours is more citrusy and sweeter. And sweeter. But mine, these were sent. You gotta understand though, these were sent. They were mailed. So these are, they were picked about like a week ago. It's funny you're saying that. I want to tell you something. I've never noticed this with any other flavor profile but citrusy. Pods that tend to be citrusy, the longer they're off the, the plant, the less citrusy. They lose that citrus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely. But I don't do. notice that with other other flavor like floral notes. They're going to be floral. I don't care how old that pepper is. No, I know. But but citrusy. Well, it's hard to say. Maybe it's hard to say whether it's not just a citrusy pepper, or if you needed a week, a couple days earlier, it would have been you know more citrusy. My it's hard wife, to say. Mrs. Bocow, you guys can watch the old videos. She tell you I hate habaneros. I hate habaneros. Well, guess what? My buddy had some nice organic habaneros. He picked a couple, gave them to me, fresh off the plant. I said, try this. And I knew what she was going to say. She said, that's one of the best peppers I've ever eaten. What kind is it, she says. I says, a habanero. She wouldn't believe it, right? She had store-bought habaneros with skinny black stems. That's all she ever ate. Here's the thing. So they she... don't even taste the same. It's almost like, like a, a different a, pepper. It's almost like a, a tomato you get in, that you grow yourself versus one of the store. Exactly. It's a completely different plant. But it's, it's really true with habaneros, man. And the, I, it, it, Here's the thing. 90% of people are never going to eat a habanero grown in a garden. Most of you just get them in stores. So... When you do come across one that's grown, uh, like, like a farm, like somebody who cared, actually grew it, it'll, it'll, you, you, you'll never want a store purchased habanero again. I promise you, no, you won't. No, they're trash. <laughs> well, they don't taste as good. They're, it's not as fruity. It's a, no, it loses all its essence. They but stick. you're right. You know the blue black stem. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 They taste like, people say it tastes like battery acid. I've never tried good. battery acid, like, but I can imagine. I can see why they would say that. Yeah. It almost has a metallic yeah, thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. It's going to be a fun day. Stay tuned for more content. Love you guys.